Hello YouTube, this is Spoke. Today we're gonna install um, uh, Android on one of them Windows 8.1 tablets. You all know them. They have a UEFI bias. It's kind of hard to you know to get the thing going. But I'm gonna show you in this video how to create a bootable USB stick so you can you know boot from the thing. Of course, you need a OTG cable. You know that is a micro usb cable to a female usb uh, plug so you can stick in one of these and you can of course also use one of these this is a usb hub you see that you will need all these things also a keyboard is kind of handy to have you know so all these things you will need if you're gonna do the actual installing but now we're gonna create a usb bootable stick so how to do it? Well, of course, you need the USB stick. Formatted in FAT32. So let's go ahead. You also need an app called Rufus. This should give you a pretty good view of what's gonna crack a leg. Okay though, so we stick in the stick. Mm -hmm. And we have the special Android. So where is the special Android? If you open um, Rufus, you must open it with right mouse click and then run as administrator. Okay, when it's opened, I don't want you to touch anything. Leave it on FAT32. Yeah, only here we're gonna select an image. And we're gonna so we're gonna put this here, create bootable disk using DD image. Okay, select DD image, and then we're gonna scroll for the image. It should be on our desktop. Here it is, Android five. I'm uh, still working on Android six. It's not done yet. We must wait a little bit before the X eighty six ISO will be out there. So, um, but it will happen soon, anytime. So soon we can also, you know, install or create a Android 6 Marshmallow a bootable USB stick. For now, uh, this is Android 5. So we're just gonna let this go. And it selected everything. And then we now just click, boom. It will say, are you sure that you want to do this? Of course you are sure, because otherwise, you know, you wouldn't be doing this. So you will see that the process will go pretty nice. And when this is done, in fact, we will um, be able to boot from it and go straight to our yeah android installer from where we can in fact uh, choose to install or just run it and then we're gonna pop it into the tablet that is kind of waiting there for this process to finish i just made it a little bit darker there for you so you can see what's crackling in fact when this is done i'm gonna get back to you Okay, and it's saying ready there, so we can close it. So we fixed ourselves a little USB stick there. I'm gonna pop it into the... I don't know, can you see something? Let me show you what I'm gonna do. Pop it in there. And then we're gonna start up the tablet. Boom hit F10 there you go and um, but here you can see it real small it's saying Android Live Android X debug mode and installation we're gonna hit for installation so the stick is working there you go and um, what do I see there? Hey, look, X3. 
we're just gonna install it on the X3. It found the hard drive. Um, sure. X4. Okay, it's formatting the drive. Do you want to install EV? Uh, I think so. Do you want to format the boot partition? Pfft. Hell yeah. Do you want to install directory read write? Of course. Shouldn't have to say that two times to you, man. You know you should do that. Why do you ask me silly things like that? You're trying to trick me or what? Don't you do that to me. By the way, peeps, this is a Windows tablet. Eh? These things are not allowed to, to do things like this, what I'm showing you now. In fact, uh, you know, Microsoft banned UEFI way back in 2013. They didn't want to let Android and, you know, um, Linux be installed on machines like this. So now we can just hit run and write. Let's run and write. There you go. <laughs> okay, though, we're booting Android. And uh, I just love this uh, 5.1. Uh, Android boot screen loved uh, it from the beginning looks good it's uh, nice white and big so I'm enjoying it here looking at the boot so let's see how this thing will run and if everything will work okay there she is um, I think English I'm not yeah touch, touch screen is working skip Wi-Fi To see Wi-Fi turn it on we do that later skip anyway There you go next I'm gonna turn these off Next boom Android is installed my lovely people. I got it. Thank you so that's how to install Android 5 on your tablet, on any tablet, and uh, yeah. I'm a little bit low on power, the screen uh, doesn't turn, so we will have to find something to turn the screen. It's not perfect yet, peeps, uh, let me tell you that. Um, this is in, in very early stage. But uh, yeah, we're running Android 5 on uh, on a Windows tablet, and I showed you how to create the bootable USB stick. Um, I'm not sure about if we have Wi-Fi. Let me see if the Wi-Fi is working. Ta-da! We have Wi-Fi, peeps. We have Wi-Fi. Just take go to. Connect. Checking connection. I'm already connected, man. Nonsense. Skip. Google. Yay. We are connected. Internet works. I decline here. So go back home. I love the little home button here at the bottom. So that means uh, we can also get apps now from the App Store. 
I can use this thing as a perfect, uh, fantastic little uh, Android device. I think this is really cool and uh, well, this is how to install Android on your Windows 8.1 tablet. So now I can clearly say it, you know, um, I thought years ago when I created uh, the other video talking about how to install um, Android you know on any x86 tablet well now i can say it how to install android onto any windows 8.1 tablet surface tablets um all these tablets having this uefi bias uh only thing you must do is go into the bias you know um remove the the secure lock secure whatever just make a password get into there you know um turn it off and you'll be good to go so this is uh this is it peeps i'm gonna enjoy my android thank you for watching if you like this video please like subscribe and see you in the next video again Peace out. that's all for now peeps want to thank you for watching and see you in my next video again let me know in the comments how it went and if you have some more questions